The axial volcano might have been erupting, but couldn't confirm it until a little over... A fire of sorts has erupted off our coast. It's an undersea volcanic eruption. King 5's Glenn Farley has some amazing pictures of the story of how a University of Washington project is working to get those pictures to you in real time. Scientists suspected for months that the axial volcano might have been erupting, but couldn't confirm it until a little over a week ago. After all, Axial is 250 miles off the Oregon and Washington coast and deep underwater. But a remote submarine took these pictures, including this hot vent named the Snowblower, in the lava flow. Everywhere there is this bulging lava, but in the ocean's darkness under the lights, you can only see a few square yards at a time. Scientists estimate there's more than a million yards of this stuff. It had been basically repaved with about 12 feet of new lava, so... You know, that was an amazing realization. But while it took months to get back out here to take these pictures after the eruption started in early April, UW scientists are already at work getting ready to monitor Axial in real time, even rolling with high-definition cameras on the volcano as it erupts. At this moment, we are laying fiber optic cable across the Juan de Fuca tectonic plate. Cable capable of transmitting terabytes of data every second, video, seismic signals, temperature, and other information back to land. It's an ocean observatory, and UW oceanography professor John Delaney is one of those in charge. How the volcanoes erupt, how the big earthquakes take place, how the landslides occur, how the big storms come ashore, how the fish migrate, it's all related. The axial volcano sits on a series of ridges that form part of the ocean floor that's spreading apart. And that spreading is putting pressure on the west coast from Washington down to northern California. It's this force that creates the pressure that leads to big earthquakes, magnitude 9s, as that section of ocean floor is pushed below the land. Early Thursday morning, the UW research vessel Tommy Thompson will leave with Delaney and fellow scientists and head back out to the volcano. And this eruption on Axial uh, raises the tension, believe me. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. The network of cables, sensors, and cameras is being paid for with a $250 million grant from the National Foundation. It's expected to be online and available for anybody to watch by the year 2014.